One of the key questions that drives me is what would happen to the church if more Christians were able to read and study the original texts of their own faith in the original languages, seeing the author's own thoughts in their own words. How would that impact the church? Well, another question that has come to me more recently is what would happen if we trained a whole generation on how to read Greek? And what I'm getting at here is this question, would you teach your kids Greek? I think that if we were to teach kids Greek, this could be transformative for the church in the next generation. If we want to see the church grow and develop and develop some real ability to defend itself, and by that I mean apologetics, by that I mean understanding the Word of God in depth, by that I mean more than a superficial understanding of Scripture and the, and the Christian faith generally, this could be transformative for the church. And so I think that teaching kids Greek is not only going to be great for the church, but it's also going to be fantastic for kids. Let me walk through a couple of benefits that I have kind of written down that I think would be good for kids generally if they were taught Biblical Greek. The first one is related to language and academic benefits. There are huge benefits for kids in learning more than one language. One of the most important and obvious pieces is that it helps kids learn how to communicate more clearly and to put their thoughts and ideas down in a way that can be understood. Knowing how language actually works so that they can understand and be engaged with texts that are more advanced than kids their age normally would be able to take in. And part of the way to do that is to teach kids how language is structured, how language actually works. This is what's called grammar. And, and here's where I think this gets really cool. Most people today, when they go through high school, when they go through, you know, even primary school or, or elementary school, they don't get taught how language works. They don't know how grammar works. And so this is actually, I think, holding us back in a lot of ways as a culture because we don't then have this bridge to learn other languages, which means we don't have the ability to dig into languages that are either dead or even languages that are alive and be able to work with their texts and learn from their culture and literature. We sort of, we, we devote ourselves to learning how to speak the languages, which is great, but it's not the same as learning the literature of a whole culture, which is what's opened up to us when we learn how language actually works. And I think learning Greek for kids and learning how language actually works opens up a whole world of literature to them, not just in Greek, but we could go beyond that into say classical Greek, for instance, as well, without a whole lot of effort. This would be really good for kids and help them to really understand the world that they've been brought into and how we got to where we are today. And of course, that doesn't even begin to cover the benefit of actually reading through the New Testament and the Septuagint, the Greek translation of the Old Testament, and the Apostolic Fathers and all the other texts related to the Christian faith as well. The second advantage I think this provides for kids is a strong apologetic defense, if you like, of the faith, of the gospel, because Kids today are brought up with kids' Bible, and, and there's a place for kids' Bibles, right? But one of the things about kids' Bibles is it makes the Bible kind of a friendly, easygoing, kind of kid-friendly place. And as you know, the ancient world was not like that. And many kids today, in fact, we had this recently, Ruby in our team, who I'll talk about in a minute, she was teaching Greek to kids. And one of the kids that she was teaching said, do you mean to say that this was actually real people in a real time in history? And the answer is yes. The Bible is not just a series of stories. It's actually a real thing that happened in people and places and times that are just real, just toe temperate to our own. And so by getting people, getting kids particularly into the original languages, they see the Bible as a living breathing reality rather than just simply some stories in a kid's book that have got nice pretty illustrations. And I think this helps us to make the Bible more real to our kids and helps them to say there's actually something of substance to this, something to hold on to, something to dig into. There's history, there's culture, there's people, there's personalities, there's all these interactions between God and his people that these kids can now start to see and how these things actually unfolded for themselves. So it immerses kids in the actual world of the New Testament rather than just in kids' Bibles, which then forces them to think more deeply about what it is they're learning about the Christian faith. It's not just a series of stories, 
this is actually real. This is a real thing. And so that means then that they're going to have a deeper and richer and more practical understanding of what it means to be a believer. And of course, then we get into the theological benefits of kids learning Greek. I mean, what if kids can come face to face with terms like the Lord declaring, you know, I am the Lord. For this reason, I raised you up that I might display my power in you. Passages like this that really help them to come to grips with who God says he is and why that's significant. Getting kids into the text like this can only help us as parents to give them a richer, deeper foundation rooted in the reality of what the Bible teaches about history and culture and so on. The real world can then come to these kids rather than the fabricated world which we so often present to them. But this then raises the question, there's all these benefits of kids learning Greek, but how would we actually go about doing this? And you probably know that there's a number of products out there today that are designed for homeschooling and for helping kids to learn Greek. There are really, I think, two different kinds of parents, shall we say, who would be interested in teaching their kids or having their kids learn Greek. There are, first of all, those who don't want to learn the language themselves. They want to have it basically shrink-wrapped and given to them so that they can learn the language. This means they want something that's self-contained. They want the kids to have the resources they need and to be able to just sit themselves down and just work on it. Maybe it's half an hour a day, maybe it's an hour, whatever it is, but just something you can say, here's what you've got to do, go do it. And then they need the ability to really help the child work through those answers to the questions or the exercises or whatever it happens to be that they're working through. So that would be the parents who don't want to learn Greek and who are just content, you know, thinking of it as a curriculum. And, and that's something to cater for and that's important. And I'm, I'm happy to sort of try and see people, even if you're not wanting to learn Greek, having your kids learn Greek, I think is really, really good. And even if they don't learn the whole language and every single construct and everything there is, just having some exposure to it, I think can be really, really helpful. But then there's a second group, and those are the people who I think, and I think there's plenty of mums and dads in this category, who would actually like to learn Greek alongside their kids and understand the, the, what the kids are going through so that they can actually benefit from it themselves. These are the people who will learn the concepts with the kids and then be more involved in what the kids are actually doing. So maybe you're going to work through some of the exercises together and you're going to be able to explain things to your kids. Uh, and that means that when you finish, they finish as well. Or if your motivation is greater than theirs, you can pull them on along with you. And if theirs, their learning is doing really well, that can be an encouragement to you to keep going as well. And so those are the two different types of people who I think would like their kids to learn Greek. And which one of you, are you interested in having your kids learn Greek? And if so, which one of these two groups would you? And leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you there. The final question that comes up for me as I think about all this is what do you need to be able to teach kids Greek? Well, I think you're going to need some videos to explain some of these concepts. We live in an age of video, right? So we can provide visual explanations, visual and audible explanations to say this is how everything works. Secondly, we can provide kids particularly with songs and little rhyming activities and things like that that are going to help them to internalize many of the concepts they need to learn. Kids learn very easily with song and it really helps parents as well a lot of the time, doesn't it, to learn how different things work. So we need some songs, something that's going to help them to memorize things like the alphabet and even noun endings perhaps or something like that. Kids also love activities. Activities. They want to be able to do things that are going to actually reinforce these learning concepts. So activities and worksheets are going to be important. Of course, they're going to need to know what words mean, so they're going to need some vocabulary. They'll need some Greek text that they can actually work with. And then, particularly perhaps for the parents, it could be handy to have a supportive community. A community of other mums and dads and perhaps others just learning Greek in the same kind of direction that would be really helpful for them. So that would be something else I think that would be really helpful for people who are interested in teaching their kids Greek. But what else? Perhaps there's something else you can think of that would help your kids learn Greek. And if so, again, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you there and get your feedback on this too. Now, the reality is that I'm saying all of this because we've actually been at work over the last mm, year or so working on the beginnings of a kids Greek program. And the idea of this is to approach both those two type, different types of people, those who want to learn it themselves and want to learn with the kids and those who want to give the kids something to do and be able to work along, work on their own. We wanna give both those sorts of, those parents something that they can give to their kids to have their kids learning so that their kids get all those benefits of Greek 
for themselves. Now, it's almost ready, and I'm interested in hearing from you about some of these things, and certainly, if you're interested in this, we're very interested in talking to you about it as well. Ruby, who's been working for me for some time now, has been working on this over the last year. She's got a, a young kid of her own, and, and she's really been teaching some of the kids at our church using this program as well. And it's been really interesting just to see it develop. What we've done is we've taken my brand new Beginning Greek and Small Steps course. And if you're not sure about what that is, you can check out the latest update to that by following the link just up in the corner here. Uh, if that program is designed to break beginning Greek down into small, easy steps for, for adults. She's taken that and broken it into even smaller and easier steps, kid side steps, that kids can then follow. So each one of my lessons becomes something like three lessons, or three videos, or three lessons, if you like, on its own. And so it breaks it down into even smaller chunks for kids, which means that if you're wanting to learn with your child, then you end up with two different ways that you can learn. You've got the adult version, and then you can learn side by side along the kid with the kids next to what the adult version has. And if you work through the adult version quickly, of course, you'll be well ahead of your child as they go through the kids' curriculum. Now, Ruby's very musical as well, so she's created a bunch of songs. She's given uh, videos as well with explanations of how everything works in each lesson. There are activities and worksheets and vocabulary and even Greek text that your kids can work through. So all of this is almost ready and if you're interested in learning more about Greek for kids or kids Greek as we call it then go to bma.to slash kids and sign up today to find out more about it. We're actually really interested in hearing you, your feedback and we want to hear from you further. If you're interested in a product like this and seeing something like this really come to fruition and, and perfecting it and making it into something that's profoundly helpful for parents which is what we would love to do then get involved, let us know you're around, tell us what you'd like to see, put some comments in the comment section below and let us know. And most importantly, sign up at bma.to slash kids to learn more about what we're offering and all of the details around how it's gonna work and when you can get it and all that kind of stuff. It's coming in the next few weeks. So sign up bma.to slash kids, learn more about it. I look forward to serving you and seeing you there Along with Ruby, we're very excited about presenting this to you, and I look forward to serving you and seeing you in the next video. Now, if you found this video helpful, or if you're interested in Greek for Kids, hit the like button. It's going to help this video get found by more mums and dads who might be interested in their kids learning Greek. And of course, don't forget, if you are interested in Greek generally, hit the subscribe button as well. More content like this comes to you every week. Thanks so much for watching. We're really looking forward to launching Kids Greek. We're interested in hearing your feedback. We're interested in pursuing this and making this something that's compelling for kids and for parents so that the church is transformed and that next generation really benefits. So thanks for being part of what we're doing. We'll look forward to seeing you and serving you in the next video. See you there.